Good afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222 XRP, Future Millionaire with a side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte. Oh, gee, I want to thank each and every one of you. As I always say, I encourage you to join Tom's Army. Get your asses in gear. We've had one new sign-up today. We're at 141 X subscribers. I believe we should be doing a lot better than that. But anyhow, without further ado, Mother's Second Choice. Go check them out. Links in the description. They are now my, uh, as you know, the new intro to T-Speaker's channel. So enjoy, links in the description. If you want to join Tom's Army, links in the description. And also, if you want to donate, links in the description. Very important episode. This is going to be episode three. Commodities, the most manipulated resources on the planet. So let's get it started. Right, guys, the most heavily manipulated market. Oh, yes, we're going there the commodities market. So, like we talked about yesterday, commodities took a big hit yesterday. And I told you, let's wait until tomorrow, and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. The US dollar went up for no reason to 90 and a half cents to made a you know, it had the upper handle at 90.5, you know, 90 spot 55 roughly, and there was no reason for it, no rhyme or reason. It was a nice little shakeout to make uh, gold and silver kind of crash a little bit, which I told you, whatever. It was at 1860, 1865. You know, silver dropped all the way down to 2725. And I told you, when we wake up today, just wait. Fortuna Silver Mines was down at 662. And I told you, I bought another 150 bucks worth. Got up to 304, uh, 304 of them for Fortuna Silver Mines. And now. Um, I told you today it would be up over 680 when we woke up. Well, guess what? It's at 686. So, once again, you guys don't, you know, I know what I'm talking about with the commodities market. I told you it's one of the most manipulated markets and resources on the planet. Silver is amongst the heaviest, the heavily, most heavily manipulated uh, resource on the planet. Silver should be trading at no less than 100 to 200 dollars per ounce. Gold should be trading around 5,000 to 10,000 per ounce. With all this inflation, with what's happened over the last 25 years, there's no reason gold is trading this cheap still. Um, the intrinsic value is the, it remains the only real intrinsic value on the planet. Your commodities are the only real intrinsic value. The dollar, if you have money in the dollar, what's the point? If the dollar goes down, and like I said, and go watch Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. He's doing his monetary policy more convenient, you know, more, uh, it's more convenient for you guys to see it now. You know, you can go over there, you got the ease, and he talks about the dollar. He did a great episode today. I've been watching a lot of it. He covers it great. He's got a, project a projection at the end of 2022 going into 2023 that the U.S. dollar is going to be sitting where near all-time record lows at 62, have a handle on uh, just a 60 handle. I'm projecting by the end of 2021, going into early 2022, when the ISO 20022 Hyperledger Protocol, or Interledger Protocol, ISS, you know, the ISO, but it's, it's part of the Hyperledger Protocol, and by the time this all gets put in, I believe very strongly that our U.S. dollar is going to be valued at around $78. Spot seven, you know, it's going to be down to the 80 pan, it's going to be under the 80 handle and it's going to be hard. When it hits 78, then that's where you can look out, and if it breaks 78, look out. But at $78, you're talking gold, it's going to be around $2,500 minimum, maybe $3,000, $4,000. You're talking silver, $50 to $100. Easy. If it gets to the 78 handle, you're talking, you know, three digits on silver. And you're talking moving from $1,890 on gold, $1,888. And you're talking some serious, serious moves up to that four dollars or $5,000 range. And it's coming faster than you guys think. I have a projection for gold this year. By the end of the 2021, gold's going to be at 2,500, and silver's going to be around anywhere between 42 and 50 dollars an ounce. Gold will be between 2,500 and 2,750 per ounce. That's my projection. I've never come off of it. And I was making these projections when gold was under 1,700. So I know what I'm talking about. Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing knows what he's talking about. You guys need to take us seriously. 
So like we talked about earlier with Fortuna Silver Mines, I told you it was going to have a nice bounce, it was easy money, very manipulated uh, push on the dollar yesterday, which caused the commodities markets to dump because, hey, the dollar went up. Why would we keep our precious metals? That's what they do, guys. They manipulate you. And then one day later, gold's back retesting upper resistance that is trying to flip the support and same with silver. So the resistance line at gold is 1900 right now, about 1903. For silver, it's right at about 2802. We had a nice retrace and we're immediately taking it back. So why are these commodity markets, why is it so heavily manipulated, you guys ask? Well, it's easy, guys. When you keep the cost price of, out, uh, of the um, commodities down, it makes it easier for our big wigs in the government and industry to make bank on it, guys. They're always shorting it. Silver is one of the most shorted things on the planet. SLV, which is the iSilver Trust, is the most shorted stock usually on the market. Silver for decades by JP Morgan, he's shorted it. When it gets cheap, he longs it. And then when it gets too high, he starts shorting it again. He's made billions doing this. And he's being called out. I hate JP Morgan. He's a fucking scumbag and I can't stand him. Um, but he's being called out now and the people that are working under that name for causing the, he single-handedly causes the up and down of silver. And it's known. So now people are starting to get pissed off about it. I am. But in a way, I'm so happy that JP Morgan did this, that he pays out all these shorts and he causes silver to collapse every time it gets to 30 bucks. This is different, guys. This is different. Inflation's at an all-time high. The dollar's becoming devalued at an alarming rate, faster than it's happened in decades. When we hit 89.50, when we broke the 90 handle, we were at the lowest levels we had been since January of this year. And it fell faster. It was the fastest fall in the U.S. dollar in about 15 years. How fast it had dropped in the last few months. So just, just keep that in mind when you're talking about having your dollar... You know, or you're asking me if you need to sell out of your crypto, or where's my money? Guys, I have less, and this is no joke. My brother is always amazed at this, but he understands because he's a big commodities guy and, you know, making the, your money work for you. And he knows that I don't trust the banks. I don't trust the U.S. dollar. I have less than $2,000 in my bank accounts at any given time. So what that means is in the last year and a half, I, I've increased my net worth intrinsically at any given moment to about thirty-five dollars to $40,000. Not counting my house, not counting anything else, whether if I needed to get some liquid cash. And that, you're talking from having zero dollars and zero cents in the bank. And this counts for my precious metals. You know, I've got some commodity stocks that I've got over $10,000 in roughly. I've got my, uh, my crypto investments. You know, I've got stuff sprinkled in with mining stocks, with the uh, AAU and GPL, and then I've obviously I have Fortuna Silver Mines. But these are long staking investments that I'm taking out. I've got $500, about 1,200 shares on Roscon Gold. I never talk about it. I have before, but it's a it's an up and coming mine. And you guys have I told you guys to buy this at 28 cents or 30 cents when my brother was telling me about it. He's like, you got to get on this cheap. So I got in on it around I want to say 30, 35 cents. But Ross, yeah, Roscon Gold is at 49 and a half cents now. And I bought 500 shares at, or uh, $500 worth at 32 and a half cents. So this is working for me, guys. And this is still dirt cheap. So that's one that in a few years you're going to look at and be like, oh my fucking God, I can't believe I didn't buy that shit. I'm not going to keep it on here right now because I don't want to over, well, I don't want to overdo your guys' portfolio. Um, But yeah, so... You got to really think about increasing your store of value, you guys. The biggest issue that the younger generation and older generation alike has, they have no commodities. They have no physical metals. They have no foreign stocks. You know, you're not on the foreign stock market. You don't have any foreign currency. Like, if the U.S. dollar is going to collapse, I would put some money on the yen. Right now, they manipulated it down. They're making it to where the, you know, the households can have three kids. It's going to be a cataclysmic effect on them because right now they've got all this excess money because they're they're uh they export they make all the products and they export them to us which means they have all the products on their land they're not using it for the most part they export all that shit to us make all that bank well now you know back 50 years ago you could only have one kid or one girl now it's two kids 
Now it's three kids. Well, they did that because now they encourage everybody to have a girl, even though they want to get their whole, for generations, they wanted boys. And they would act, you know, they would import women, as bad as it sounds, to China because there was, uh, it was a sausage fest, guys. They would kill off all the little babies that were women, abort them. So when we talk about abortion, it, it's a touchy subject for me because I think you should never take away human life, period. But obviously there's situations. But anyhow, I digress. It shouldn't be a government thing. So now that they are allowing, you know, no girls for decades and decades and decades, they didn't have enough women for the men. Men are like, man, we want to have babies. We want a woman, you know, whatever. There's no girls. So they had all these foreign women. And now China calculated over the last 50 years they're more of a mixed race that was not by accident that was by design and now they have to use more of their products that they were supposed to export which means now they're staying imported because they need to use it for more people because there's more people by about a 50 to 60 percent boom when you start adding two you know instead of one child per family to three that's going to add a very quick boom and now they're finding out the hard way because they're using their products that they usually export to us or other places around the world. The other thing that all these other countries are finding out, and so are you in the U.S., our dollar ain't worth shit. We stopped back in the U.S. dollar by gold a very long time ago, decades and decades ago. So we're not backed by gold. They did that so that our money, they could put any kind of price value on it. And right now, it's about to collapse. Next year, year and a half, it's over. All these other countries that export from the USA, not going to happen anymore. All these countries that took out loans to the US, we're not going to be able to pay it back. Our paper dollars going to be worth so little that we're going to have to start, like we'd sell off uh, parts of our country to China. They own the USA. They own the USA's power grid. We sold it off to them as collateral. So make no mistake about it, this is going to get bad. Very, very bad before it gets good. And it may never get good again unless you're in the proper positions. Subscribe to Tom's Army. I'll keep you ahead on the charts. I know monetary policy. I know what's going on in the global economy. You know, I know about the GDP. I know the intrinsic value you need. I know how to build a portfolio from zero. And I know what it's like to be flat broke as recently as just under two years ago. So I know what's going on. I've been drilling this stuff either between my brother or Peter Schiff or Robert Kiyosaki or a few others for decades and I put myself in a position where I did something about it at $50 at a time now I can do it thousands of dollars at a time I want to do it hundreds of thousands of dollars six figures at a time no more five figures I want to be a six figure heir not a five figure heir I went from being a one dollar heir to a ten dollar heir to a hundred dollar heir to a thousand dollar heir to a ten thousand dollar heir now I want to be a hundred thousand dollar heir and this has all been done in the last 22 months Very important topic today on this episode. And like I said, I'm naming it episode three, commodities. The most manipulated resources on the planet. Get with it or get the fuck out because if you don't get with this and you don't want this information, you're going to cost yourself so much in the next year and year and a half that it's going to make your head spin and you're not going to be in a position to take care of your family. It's that simple. I don't want it to happen to you. I don't want it to happen to me. And I'm going to keep teaching you all this information that I know. t speak 222 XRP, Future Millionaire with a side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. You guys need to subscribe to my channel. Send a donation so I can keep sending out these coins. And one more thing to finish this. When you go into the stores as well, guys. Like, you, like you've heard Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. You've heard me tell you this. When you go into the store. or when, Let's put it this way in the terms you guys can understand. When you go to the, the dispensary. They get some cannabis delivered to you. Let's say it was $225 an ounce. When you order it a month and a half from now and it's $260, it's not because the shit got any better. Oh, no, 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 my friends. It's not because the quality's better. No, it's because the value of our dollar continues to die. So now instead of charging you $225, they got to charge you $275, $300 to pay for the cost of electricity because it's costing them more to grow those plants because the dollar is being devalued, which makes our energy costs going up. Even though energy really didn't go up, it just costs more because our value of the dollar isn't worth as much as it was. So if it was $225 at when the dollar was at 100, 
Well, now that the dollar's at 91.5, 90.153, and barely have a handle on 90, now that same weed is 10% more. So now if it was 225, just for 10% less on the value of the dollar, right? Your weed now costs you 250 bucks for that ounce instead of 225, not counting all taxes they're gonna add to it now because now they've gotta compensate. So stay true, stay blessed, and understand what I'm telling you.